That's what I'm talking about. We finally got this thing working. Sweet. Want to open up some unified minds today? That's what I want to do. <laughs> What's up, Funkin? How you doing, my man? You ready to open up some uh, unified minds? I'm gonna open up this entire booster box today just for fun. I want to send in a uh, card submission to PSA, and I need to I need to fill it up. Still got some work to do. Almost there. I mean. My Unified Minds binder broke now after the road trip, I imagine, man. Hey, I just got in an order today from Blowout Cards, and I got the five-star boxes in. I got uh, Unified Minds Pokemon uh, Heritage High Number 2019, Archives 2019, and... Bowman Sterling 2019. So I'm trying to figure out how to put some breaks together for these. Because I want to kind of maybe group some stuff together. Who knows? But I'm excited, that's for sure. Bowman Sterling's got five autographs per box. Five stars got two. It's actually only got two cards per box, but uh, they're both autos. I got a bunch of five star that I'm trying to send in. I actually called PSA today and figured out how to send the thicker cards. So I have to go get some uh, card saver fours. All right, yeah, let's talk about it because I want to figure out uh, the best way to have these breaks put together. They're good breaks, you know. There's good cards in there, so. Um, I think they'd be fun. And then uh, also I have all the other breaks up here. Bowman Platinum, two autographs in every box. It's over there. And then I've got uh, some leather and lumber back there. Three boxes of those. Those are $10 a spot, two spots. And there's one pack per spot. There is a guaranteed auto or relic card in there, memorabilia card. And the holiday box, two spots for $10 a spot. And then uh, any of these packs here. I got a bunch of wax packs, some plastic packs. So I got quite a bit. No, don't worry about it, man. I'm just glad you guys are showing up. Yeah, I, uh, I try to go live at 6, but uh, I've been trying to work out the kinks on my stream, and I think I finally got them worked out. So everything's going pretty smooth now. So I'm going to just start uh, cracking into the Pokemon. That would be awesome. Um, Pokemon, so I haven't really thought about wh like what I should do for Pokemon right now. I've got, let me, let me grab a few of these tins. So this is what I've got for Pokemon. This here, yeah, I can help you out, Urban. I've got, uh, it took me a while to get this set up, but once I did get it set up, it all looks pretty good and it's starting to come along. Nice little studio, so hopefully I'll have everything set up even nicer. Um, I mean, it, it seems like everything's working well though, so I'm not too worried about it. But having some camera issues so I bought all these little tins I have one of each 
of the little tins. So if you want one of these, uh, let me know. I think they'll, I'll do $8 on these. I believe that's how much they were. And uh, open them up and send them. Um, this, I'll do 20 on. I've got two of these, a Vaporeon, and I don't remember what the other one is. And then I also have a bunch of packs that are like $3 a piece. So normally packs are about $4 a piece, but these are older packs, and I'm willing to let you guys crack into a few of those. We'll take them all. Wow. <laughs> so what do you want, Funkin'? I got a bunch of packs. I obviously have a bunch of tins. You want all of that? Hidden Fates was empty. That's not ideal at all. I like me some Hidden Fates. Unfortunately, it's it's impossible to keep in stock. Um, this one I'm not selling today, by the way. I'm opening this guy. I will sell a pack or two out of it if somebody's interested. I gotta find my knife to open this sucker. Just use scissors. Walmart's done selling them. My goodness, they're already done with the tins. That's wild. So they're all going to be on eBay after this. I mean, they're going to have an elite trainer box for Hidden uh, Fates coming out at the end of this month. Maybe the beginning of next month. Um, and that's going to have 10 packs in it per box. So that's pretty legit. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not too close now you're not going to be able to but uh, I've almost gotten all of my hidden fates in here I'm just sending a few cards here and there and I have some place markers for some PSAs that I got back so anyways I'm almost done with the I'm sorry not hidden fates the uh, unified minds and uh kind of excited I'd like to sell all the base once I get it completely finished I have basically two sets of unified minds almost because I've bought so many of the cards I have this excel spreadsheet also that's got every single set in it it's got every possible set from Pokemon from back in the day to now and uh, that's a pretty awesome little spreadsheet because you get to keep track of all your cards and I've wanted to do the same thing for baseball and I think there are people that have done it but uh, I found this guy he just posted it on reddit and I'll put it on my website but it, it's awesome it's got every single thing listed on there and any Pokemon name you can just click the hyperlink and it'll take you to the site so you can find out how much that thing's worth so really good way of tracking all your cards yeah you'll take all the mini tins I got two of them for 20 you wanted me to open them or just mail them They're 20 a pop. So yeah, I can, uh, yeah, the smaller, oh, the smaller ones. Yeah, okay. Smaller ones are eight a pop. I think they have two cards in them, or uh, two packs in them, yep. Two Pokemon TCG packs. And one metallic coin. Also a Pokemon art card showing the art from this mini tin. I can, uh... Yeah, Funkin' and Urban, I think that's, honestly, that's gotta be our, our game plan, our strategy. We gotta figure out how to do this so that we can incorporate uh, kinda all the things that uh, each of us have interests in because it seems like we have a pretty eclectic group, which is good. You know, I'm into Pokemon, baseball, football, urban. You like the hockey, basketball, football, baseball. You kind of like it all. And so do you, Funkin'. But uh, you get into even some wrestling, some Funko Pops. 
I might be able to fit them in. Uh, we'll ch we'll check. I think I can. Yeah, I'll I'll just toss them in there. By the way, I'm gonna send all these tins, and it's a pretty good collector's situation because it's actually one of each artwork. So you have Charizard, uh, Vulpix, and or uh, yeah, is that? Yeah, Vulpix and uh, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Dragonite, and Mew and Psyduck. So you're going to have one of each of the arts for the tins. They don't make any other ones. So I always collect the tins because I kind of like, you know, have the artworks. The cards inside, usually they give you are like, yeah, like a Guardian's Rising and maybe a Ancient Origins. So they're all kind of packs that you're really not that interested in, but... Um, also, I have these Detective Pikachu packs. I'll throw a couple of those in there for you as well because they're only like three or four cards. You have four cards per pack. Um, and I have, like, multiple Detective Pikachu sets. In fact, Detective Pikachu is the best set to start with because it's only 18 cards. So it's really easy to collect the whole set. It's good for kids to start out, and that's how I got my nieces and nephews back into cards. So um, pretty cool. I want to see what's in this guy, though. <laughs> Something for hiding drugs in across the border. Ah, classic. So this is how these booster boxes come. They have 36 packs inside of them. This thing cost me just about $100. Um, so we're hoping to pull a Mewtwo Secret Rare. And that's the one I want to get sent into uh, PSA. In fact, let me pull up the uh, what the price list is for unified mods. Actually, I'm going to try this screen share real quick because I figured out how to do it. Okay, so So in here if you go to shop.tcgplayer.com um it gives you this price guide here. And in this price guide you can kind of select by what the most expensive is to least expensive or vice versa. You can sort it however you want. And so here uh, you can see I've got the Mewtwo and Mew GX. Actually, I should probably blow this up a little bit. There we go. So I've got the Mewtwo and Mew GX Secret Rare at 8575. So that's a pretty good card right now. It's expensive. Um, and at a PSA 10, that'd be really good. So, um, let's see, we go down and we've got Cherish Ball, Mewtwo at 36. So the top 10, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. The top 10 are almost all 20 bucks. The 18 is the lowest. Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Which I've got one of these back as a PSA 10, but neither of these two. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, man, the bank's going to come and, like, seize your house if you spend too much money, man. <laughs> yeah, Urban, I will for sure. So, um, I've been using Streamlabs OBS for uh, running my stream, and it works really well. So, now that we got those in there, let's see if we can get, uh, let's see if we can get the card we were looking for. <laughs> so they can have it. Fair enough. 
There's a code card. Have you guys ever plugged one of these in and started using it yet? So, uh, the uh, code card game, I should probably do a stream about the game sometime so that you guys can see it because it'd be kind of fun to show you. Why not? Arkin, Swaddle, Scroopy, Wimpod, Noibat, Azelf, and oh sweet! Heatran GX. Pulled this card multiple times. But uh, that will be going on eBay. Sorry about that, I was trying to look for some sleeves. All right, I'll put my uh, reverse rares over there. All right, I'm gonna cruise through these. We got 36 to open. How you doing, Andrew? Finian, Stunfisk, Gibble, Wicked Tongue, Dwebel, Dratini Ant, oh, Egg Mortar. Wah, wah. That's okay. Two in. So Urban gets in the right stream. El Canon, the Colorado kid. Yeah, I gotta figure something out about the chat because I keep having to look over at my computer screen and I don't have a good way to see the chat. On my phone it would be nice, but I think it creates this black box. Yeah, L, not E-L. L Canon. You know, I came up with that name because my dad, when I was younger, would always be like, I am L Canon, the fattest man in the world, even though he wasn't anywhere close, but it was like his little nickname so I just kind of took it over El Canon the Colorado kid and the Colorado kid I got because I used to work out in South Carolina and they all called me Colorado kid I was the only one in uh, this little summer camp out there that uh, was from Colorado and it was so hot my goodness but I loved it I taught wakeboarding for eight years so much fun Terracosta, Audino, Yanmega, Magmar, Tynamo, Cosmog, Salandit, Gibble, Tortuga, and uh oh, we got something here. Ooh, a Dragonite GX. Very nice. Anytime I get a GX, that's that's sweet, but I, this one isn't really worth that much, so. Not on our top 10 list. How you doing, Greg? Don't worry about it, man. I mean, how, how would anybody know my name on here unless I say it for him? So, Elkin on the Colorado Kid. Um, yeah, I, I got back into collecting like a lot of you, I think. But a lot of us probably didn't collect around uh, the like middle 2000s. And so this is my first year back into collecting since probably 2000. I quit after let's see here i did a little collecting in the 2000s and then uh, 2007 i quit and started up again this year so it's been a long time uh that i haven't collected but man once i found this community i just got obsessed with it i've been diving down the rabbit hole i don't know how to say half of these payukumuku <laughs> payukumuku Ayukumaku. Numel. Axu. Metatite. And an Uxie. That's a hollow rare. Save the codes. Yeah. I won't show them anymore. I don't think anybody uses them anyways. I actually save every code no matter what, even if I show it on here. I go back and check them. 
it is way too much fun. But today we're getting, we're going to get one of those high dollar cards. I'm still, oh, I was supposed to save those for you. Sorry. I'll send them anyways. You can try, you can try them. They work great. If not, I'll get you some more. Cosmog, Frostlass, and Honchcrow. Boy, not an awesome booster box so far. Hey, Urban, I get that. That's one of the reasons why I uh, got back into this collecting was I was married and my divorce was finalized last year. I was uh, kind of bored when she was out in the house, so I had to figure out a hobby. Got back into collecting. Rayolu and Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is actually a good Pokemon. Nature Wave, 100, 120 HP. Not bad at all. Yeah, I had the, probably the cheapest divorce in history. I think my divorce cost $260. Um, my wife was from Brazil, and so English was her second language, and I don't think she really understood the legal system in the U.S., which was kind of lucky for me. So, uh, yeah, that divorce didn't cost me anything. But the marriage was extremely expensive because she was like a high class, like I want, uh, what are those shoes called? Christian Louboutin shoes. They have like red on the bottom. They cost like, I don't know, thousand dollars. She would buy purses and crap like that all the time that were just ugh, a waste of money. So now I've got all this extra money lying around. I'm like, man, I can buy cards. <laughs> Oops. You know, it is what it is. Divorce is, you know, it, it happens and life goes on. I'm certainly not the only one in that boat, especially in this community, I've noticed. <laughs> Slack off. Oh, my goodness. No secret or hyper rares yet. No rainbow rares. They'll come. They'll come. It was a booster box like this that I pulled my T PSA 10 Charizard. Did I show you guys that? you see it already? Which I think you should have because I did show it on here, but I'll show it again. I asked Leonhart, who's another YouTuber, pretty big YouTuber, um, what I should do with it. And uh, he told me to hold on to it. I said, keep it. Sell it later. Let me show you the ones I have from this set that are PSA. Onyx, Fletchlander, Snover, Murkrow, Tornadus, Salazzle. I want to grab them real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do a private stream and chat. It'd be a great idea. So, from Unified Minds, the PSA cards that I have are this Raichu and Alolan Raichu. I want to get all three of these. Actually, I think there's four of the Raichu and Alolan Raichus. Um, this one is the Full Art, PSA 10. I got a reset stamp. That's a PSA 9. I was a little disappointed by that. Here's a Blues Tactics. Yeah, that's sweet, Andrew. Unbroken Booster. Oh, I, I've, I love Unbroken Bonds, especially because they have that Charizard in there. 
So here's that other Unified Minds Blues Taxes. This is the only one in existence, the only PSA 10 in existence. So I'm the only one to have one of those. Um, this one came back and was the most disappointing return of the entire PSA return. Unboxing is a PSA 6. Really depressing. Not ideal at all, but I want to show you the Unbroken Bonds ones I have also. Since, Andrew, you're opening this this upcoming week. Okay, here is a Reshram and Charizard GX Unbroken Bonds PSA 10. This is a good card. I bought this card, actually. I did not pull it. Bought it and then got it graded after I bought it. The other one is a Charizard Full Art from the same set, Unbroken Bonds. This came back as a PSA 8 Near Mint. Not terrible. And then the Coupe de Gras. The Coupe de Gras. The Sheboygan. Rush Ram and Charizard PSA 10. Secret Rare. Boom, baby. So this thing is going for like 700 right now on eBay. and I'm not selling it. Hold on to it. Yeah, I got two Zards in that. So the other Charizard is... Where do I have that one at? Well, I put it on eBay, but it came back as a PSA 8. So it wasn't terrible. Let me grab it. Okay, here's that eight, and I have it on eBay right now. The current bid is at 138 bucks, um, which is a pretty good bid for a starting bid. It's got five or six days left on it. I'm hoping it'll get over 200, which I think it probably will. Um, that's about what it's been selling for, so I should get it right around 200. So that was a pretty cool one. I was excited to pull that. Very, very cool card. Now, if we can just pull the most rare secret rare from this set and get it PSA 10 we would be set I must have passed it in fact I don't even think I did the card trick right huh. yep. halfway through does anybody want any of these packs I'll throw them into a box and ship them off at the end of the week Psychic Energy, Luminion, Taurus, Munchlax, Honage, Pikachu, Hoot Hoot, Scraggy, Numel, Garchomp, and Ton of Point. My goodness. We're almost halfway through, and these are our pulls so far. Wah, wah. In fact, I don't know if you guys remember when I did that uh, Unified Minds. Uh, tr elite trainer box but that was the worst that was the absolute worst possible trainer box I think I could have ever gotten it was really disappointing it's like they put all the good cards in the first runs and then there's not many left Magnemite, bug catcher reverse rare actually no that's reverse uncommon hollow hi Frank Lloyd Welcome. Maybe I missed Lloyd earlier. Oh, there's a card. I think this one's got something special in it. I saw something a little shiny. The Dene, Gabite, Murkrow, Execute, Hoot Hoot, Carablast, Ponage. And Jirachi GX. Man, what a letdown. I like Jirachi, but I've pulled this card multiple times. I think I've probably got four or five of it now. Ugh, no secret rare still. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Lloyd. I, I missed that.
Lapras, Relicanth, Onyx, Finian, Alolan, Grimer, Carablast, Fletchling, another Slack Off, and Camera Up. All right, two more packs and we're halfway through. Still no secret rare. I gotta check. Uh, does anybody know what's going on tonight uh, as far as the football games? Oh, hello, Casey Harris. Welcome. Young Goose, Cryogonal, Litwick, Drift Bloom, and uh, Metacham. Well, last pack magic in this half. Come on. We can only hope. Man, I am really demolishing these packs. Oranguru, Lorantis, Mesprit, Magnemite, Fletchling, Onyx, Fletchlander, Snover, Swaddle, and Electros, Hollow. Boy, these hits are uh, not that good. Sebastian, all right. Well, nice to have you, Sebastian. Thanks for showing up. Sebastian is my nephew. In fact, he was in my very first video I did. Lightning Energy Tranquil, Electric, Reset Stamp, Magnemite, Slack Off, Axew, Fletchlander, Stunfisk, Unpheasant, and Drapion. Wah -wah. Still looking for that secret rare. Let's just cruise through these suckers. You know what I should do is I should buy an Unbroken Bonds booster box, a couple of them. See if I can get another Charizard and Reshiram. These cards are so expensive, but Hidden Fates is impossible to find now. It's all sold out everywhere. Salandit and Galvantula. Boop. Just cruising through this sucker. Drill Burr, Slack Off, Fungus, Honage, Sneasel, Dragonite. Wah, wah. Still, this has been a pretty bad booster box, I'm going to be honest with you. So far, not great, but we, we still got some packs to go, so it's a chance that it could turn around. But certainly not worth the money we put into it so far. Tini, Fungus, Onage, Sneasel, Drapion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> Giant bomb, baby. Shaboygan! All right. I have not pulled this card yet, and look, it is in great condition. I wonder if this is on that list. Oh, Cherish Ball is. pretty far down the list surprisingly not as good as you would think it's only a five dollar card but you know what I'll take it five dollars is five dollars I'm not gonna get mad at that that's a boom in my book boom baby swanky all right now if we could just get a rainbow rare that would be sweet usually one on average per case. Uh-oh, this this pack looks like a hot pack, too. Hot pack, hot pack. Yeah, oh, this is going to be a hot pack, baby. Cresselia, Dragonair, Shroomish, Slack Off, Drifloon, Droopiter, Dredagon, Musharna, and 
Slowpoke and Psyduck. Sweet. I have already pulled this card, but it is a cool card. And I did want two of them because I wanted to get one graded. So I am happy about that. Looks like it's in really good condition, too. Borders are all nice. Same distance. The borders on the front look pretty nice. Shoved up a little bit. Yep, it's shoved up and to the right a little bit. So it's a little thicker on the left-hand side than it is on the right. And you can see the corner here is not perfect. So probably not a PSA gradable card. Not terrible. Not great. It was a cool card, Sevy. You didn't need to retract that. The Dene, Luminion, Cubone, Yanma, Young Goose, Dredagon, Arachnid. The sorting. Oh, the sorting of all these cards. That's going to be the biggest pain in the butt. But you know what? It's worth it. Got to have a well-organized collection or else you don't know what you got. Dratini, Young Goose, Yanma, Execute. Man, we pulled all these cards so many times out of this booster already. Levani, Joltik. All right, come on, this pack is, there we go. Oh boy, what a booster. It takes forever to go through a booster like this, but I love it because, although I don't like pulling all of these s multiple, oh yes. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, sweet. I actually think this card might be on my top 10. Oh, no. Well, sweet. I'll take it anyways. I know I have this card already, but uh, this one looks like it's in much better condition. This corner is almost perfect as far as the centering on the front. The back is a little off. It's pretty thick on top. Yeah, not bad. Good card. Still probably not worth sending it into PSA, but maybe. We'll see. PSA has a special going right now for uh, Pokemon cards. It's only $8 a card to get them graded uh, for bulk, anything over 25 cards to send in. And that's actually why I'm opening this, because I'm hoping to get a few more cards to send in with my submission. I'm 22 right now, and I'd like to get three more cards to send in. So, uh, And I wanted them from this set. So hopefully we get a rainbow rare and the rainbow rare we're looking for. Well, you missed a, a couple of cards. Let's see here. What'd you miss, Funkin'? We pulled the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar, uh, Slowpoke and Psyduck, the Giant Bomb, and the Jirachi, Dragonite, and Heatran. So we got two tag teams, one trainer, and uh, two of these suckers. This trainer, it's a full art. So the full art trainer version, they have a regular version of that, but that's the full art version. Seriously, Frank, that's awesome, man. Oh, I must have messed up. I did. I think I messed up the... Oh, sweet. It's an Alolan Raichu. It's, Raichu's one of my favorite Pokemon for sure. And I don't think I have this card in Reverse Hollow. So. Yeah, that's a... You say 200 Pokemon cards you gave? Frank, that's a lot. Yeah, if they're... Uh, it's the best, best way to do it is to send them in bulk. The more cards you send, and the more time you give them, the cheaper it'll be. 
Wow, Sports of Frank, that's going to be awesome. I'd love to see some of that uh, unboxing when they come back. I just did uh, my first PSA unboxing, and then I'm going to have this next is going to be several hundred cards probably, uh, this next shipment. So um, it's going to be a mixture of both Pokemon and sports cards. I have a bunch of autographs that I need to get um, authenticated. So be sending those in. There's Gibble and Marowak. A lonely Marowak. Sweet. I'll have to check it out. Frank. Everybody subscribe to Frank if you haven't yet. I'm going to subscribe too. Also, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and uh, see new videos weekly. I try to post videos daily, actually. Uh, baseball and football breaks and Pokemon videos. I haven't been off the last couple days, but I think I've got everything situated now, so I should be able to, to uh, post daily and uh, do a lot of these uh, breaks to make sure that you guys have as much variety as possible when it comes to collecting. So I'm going to try and open some weird stuff too. i got a Fortnite box for sale. And uh, you guys can check out Mawile. All right. Not a great one, but it's a GX. I'll take it. You guys can check out my website, elkanonbreaks.com, www.elkanonbreaks.com. Or if you uh, want to get into any of the breaks I have behind me, I'm going to have to throw all this on the floor. Um, then uh, they are posted on the website, or you can PayPal me, joshua.kanan at gmail.com. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so you can see what's back there. Little Jordan grading, yeah. Funkin's got a bunch of Jordans, and uh, he was gonna hook me up. Actually, he said not for sale. <laughs> All right, too close to this thing. Last few packs. How many do we have here left? One, two, three, four, five, six packs left. <laughs> it's true. If you guys come into this office, it does look like a hoarder lives in here. And I've just made this one, this one little area nice and tidy. So I'll kind of show you. It's not terrible in here, but. my Pokemon over here, computers, postage stuff, so it's just a whole convoluted office, and I love it. I probably already did that trick, I think. <laughs> yeah, I did. Kangaskhan was our rare, which isn't great, but that is okay. I'm gonna have to throw these into top loaders here in a minute. You're so funny. I kinda like this music. It's a little uh elevatory. Meditite, Shroomish, Slack Off, Drifloon, Drew Piter, Vigoroth, and Zygarde. Wah. Gunner, you don't need to bark. They've been putting in a new fence at my house, and so my dog's been going crazy at these people. <laughs> Fucking, I love your, your man cave, wherever you're filming at. It does seem a little like a dungeon, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> it's definitely elevator music, isn't it? <laughs> which I kind of like it, I mean... Kind of relaxing. Pie Dove and Lucario. Okay, we got three packs to go. Still looking for our secret rare. It's got to be in these three packs. We've got to find a Rainbow Rare in one of these three. If we don't, 
I'm going to be a little torqued. But put our fingers together that there is a Sheboygan in one of these. Sheboygan. I'm building my own tomb. <laughs> uh, Funkin', I'm going to catch you on that hoarder show sometime. Wouldn't give up any of his cards, any of his collectibles. Glycopod, hollow rare. I don't think I have that one yet. Two packs to go. What's up, Viking? Welcome, man. It's good to see ya. Two packs to go. Let's see. Yeah, it was that for Viking? I think you pushed me over the edge. You were like, he's at 49. Everybody go sub, and boom, I was at 52, and then I woke up at 57. So, hey, great. I'll take the strides that I can. Yeah, I skip four and flip, and the reason why is because that puts you right where the energy is, and it puts uh, as the first card, and it puts the rarest card in the pack in the very back. So, one, two, three, four. This card right here is going to be the rarest in the pack. So we can just go through it quick. We have an Obama Snow there, and that way you can just skip all these other ones, especially if you've gone through them, you know, multiple times, which I have. I've got so many of these cards. In fact, I've got four or five of those boxes over there that are just unified mines. So this is the last pack magic, last card. Whew, let's see what it is. Crustle. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> well, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but here's all of our reverse hollows. This one's a hollow rare, actually. And this one's a reverse hollow rare. So you can see that the star in the corner means it's rare. Yeah, I got all those packs for sale. So if you guys want to open a pack. Now what I do with, with packs is I only ship once per week. So I'll just set up a little box like this with your name on it on the side. And uh, I'll just put stuff in there throughout the week. And at the end... Uh, of the week, I'll ship it to you. So, if you want to buy individual packs, you don't have to spend $3 shipping on just one pack of cards, then you can just buy an individual pack throughout the week here and there, and I'll take whatever it is and make sure it goes into your box and gets shipped to you at the end of the week. That way you pay one shipping and you can do as many packs as you want. So, yeah, I'll be on for a little bit. Um, streaming Viking, you can stream uh, basically straight to YouTube if you have a webcam. If you have over a thousand subscribers, then you can uh, do it via your mobile phone or um, iPhone. Um, if you don't have a thousand subscribers, because I don't, you can figure out a way around it, which is to uh, go to Streamlabs OBS and use Streamlabs. That's a reverse holo rare also. I'm sorry, not reverse, that's a holo rare. Electros. Uh, and Streamlabs will help you set it up and help you figure out how to stream via your phone so you can have multiple cameras going at once. Um, Streamlabs has been great, and that's what I'm streaming on right now. So I like it a lot. I can control my chat. I can control transitions. I can do, uh, you know, show my screen. So pretty sweet. Streamlabs OBS. Slack off. Tauros. Rayolu. See, there's a reverse hollow rare. Frostlass. I'll throw that one into a sleeve also, because I'm not sure I have it. Uxie. Hollow, which I've got multiple of. And Dratini, Pikachu, and Azel. So our, our big hitters were... Glycopod. It might have stopped working because the uh, stream key got switched on YouTube, 
So go back into your YouTube settings and find your stream key and replug it into Streamlabs. That's what I had to do because I had the same issue. Um, but anyways, my wild GX. Actually, I won't even call that Glycopod a hitter. So we got two tag teams, the Slowpoke and Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Four GXs, Mawile, Heatran, Dragonite, and Jirachi GX. And one uh, full art trainer card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits out of this booster uh, box. So this was not the greatest booster box. I've seen much better booster boxes before, uh, but it wasn't terrible. It was uh, probably a little below average, um, but I'll take it. You know, got some good GXs, got some good cards that I can get graded and uh, sell for sure. So uh, good booster box, good enough. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to be a streamer on here and remain, like, as libertarian as you want. <laughs> it's just the unfortunate part. You know, I like remaining as anonymous as possible. That's why I don't use my real name anywhere. But it's just difficult to do when you stream. You know, eventually you're going to have to let people know, um, you know, who you are. Or they're going to find out. One of the two. Yeah, I'd love to, to find some... None of the packs that I have here have great cards in them. I don't... Well, that's not true. There are some uh, packs that have probably have some good cards in them, but uh, I'm not collecting any of these sets. These are all from the XY series, so that's why I have all these for sale. Some of them are from Sun and Moon, Lost Thunder here, um, which is actually a pretty good set. Uh, the team-up set's pretty decent. Not really anything expensive, but it's a cool-looking set. Uh, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, another one I'm not collecting. Anyways, there are a bunch in there. Those will all go $3 a pack. Should probably do four. But... Anyways, that's probably going to be it. If nobody wants to get into any breaks tonight, um, I can switch over to Urban's channel or Funkin's channel, and uh, I was going to do something uh, where Urban and Funkin and I all got together and figured out uh, kind of a collaboration for a stream. So I think that's probably what we're going to do uh, is get on and do a little private stream after this and figure out the um, best way to proceed. So thanks for showing up, guys. It's a good good live stream. There's more people than I uh, had ever had in a live stream before, So, <laughs> which is... Only 10, but hey, I was excited. 